guy's songs at a time or not. And here he is to sing the ride. David Allen Cole. In an Alabama graveyard on a hot September day, a young man with a guitar stares into space and play. There's no one there to listen. There's no one there but him. And the ghost of Hank Williams sings your cheating heart again. Marty Robbins, Patsy Klein, Ernest Tubb and Red Soul Vine, Jimmy Rogers, and old Lefty was my friend. It's so lonesome here tonight, but someday I'll see the light when the ghost of Hank Williams sings your cheating heart again. It was 2 a.m. in Nashville, and the rhyming stage was bare. There was just a lot of memories from the Opry being there. In the stillness of the morning, on a cold December wind, the ghost of Hank Williams sings your cheating heart again. Marty Robbins, Patsy Klein, Ernest Tubb and Red Sovine, Jimmy Rogers, and old Lefty was my friend. And it's so lonesome here tonight, but someday I'll see the light when the ghost of Hank Williams sings your cheating heart again. There's a DJ in Ohio that recalls that New Year's Day when he had to tell the nation that a singer passed away. Sometimes when it's late at night, he'll let some records spin. And the ghost of Hank Williams sings your cheating heart again. Marty Robbins, Patsy Klein, Ernest Tubb and Red Sovine, Jimmy Rogers, and old Lefty was my friend. It's so lonesome here tonight, but someday I'll see the light when the ghost of Hank Williams sings your cheating heart again. graveyard on a hot September day a young man with a guitar stares into space and play there's no one there to listen there's no one there but him and the ghost of Hank Williams sings your cheating heart again thank you Hi, David. Welcome to the show. Indeed. Actually, that's, a, that's another Hank Williams song. Right, yeah. It, it, Red, it wasn't the ride, Red. I know you're hurt. Your feelings are hurt. I'm and sorry. You, well, it's okay. Well, Ralph said that it was going to be a song about the ghost Hank Williams, and I just thought it was the ride because I couldn't see the cue cards. It's okay, Red. All right, thanks, All right. Ralph. I, I forgive you, Red. I want you to tell me about two songs. Okay. okay? You wrote... Would you lay with me in a field of stone? Right, or that's Tanya right. Or Tanya Tucker. That's right. She once told me that these, this was written for a wedding. It was written as wedding vows for my brother when he got married. They didn't want to use the standard wedding vows, and so I wrote wedding vows for him. And then, and somebody said to me, "You ought to put a melody to that." And I put a melody to it. And and actually, uh, uh, David Rogers and a girl named Jamie Ryan were the first ones to cut the song as a duet on Atlantic Records. And then Atlantic Records folded before the song was ever released. And uh, I played it for Billy Sherrill, who played it for Tanya Tucker's dad and mom. And they both said, no way is she gonna record this song. And she was 13 years old and she just says, oh yes, there is, and had a fit. And uh, she got her way and recorded the song. And then they wanted to release it as a single and her mom and dad said no. And she threw another fit and got it released as a single and it was the biggest record she'd ever had. Now, was this, was this recited or sung at the wedding? It was just recited at the wedding. All right, let's go to another song. Take this job and shove it. Right. What prompted that song? Uh, I was living on a houseboat out at Old Hickory Lake, and Bill Anderson had a boat on one side of me, and Billy Sherrill's boat was on the other side of me. And it was kind of in the wintertime, and not a lot of people was out on their boats, but I was living on my boat full time. 
and I had went to a movie and I was going to go to Johnny Cash's house and I heard some fire trucks and you know how when you hear fire trucks you say I sure hope that ain't my house but it sounded like it was coming from over by the boat dock so I drove back to the boat dock and sure enough the boat dock was on fire and I cut a bunch of boats loose and pushed them out into the bay and everything and, and a couple firemen when the firemen finally got there a couple of them got hurt and the next day the Nashville paper you know wrote a story it said David Allen Coe's a hero he saved all these people's boats and everything and it was about two weeks later we was out on Buddy Killen's boat and we were all sitting around talking and Buddy Killen said to me how would you like to be a fireman and I said they can take that job and shove it and I looked over at Billy and he looked at me and he said you remember when Christopherson wrote the song why me Lord and you got mad because you used to say it all the time he says you need to go write that song so I went over to my boat and I wrote take this job and shove it and I came back and played it for Billy and he said, I'm cutting George Jones tomorrow. I'm going to do the song on George. Well, he called me the next night and said, George didn't show up, which I found hard to believe. <laughs> and uh, so then he told me, he said, but I've got another guy named Johnny Paycheck. And the record company said he's got one more chance. So he's got nothing to lose by singing this song. And they didn't want to ruin my career by singing Take This Job and Shove It, because with my reputation, that would have probably hurt my career. So they, so they, let, <laughs> right. So the Paycheck did the song, and of course, you know, the rest is history. And, and the ironic thing about that is now that Johnny Paycheck is in prison in Ohio, where I was in prison before I got out of prison and came to Nashville, and then he had all that success and went back to prison, and I went back to the same prison and did a show for Johnny Paycheck and called him up out of the audience a couple weeks ago, and he sang with us five songs with our band. It was a big surprise for John. He, he looks real well. Where is he? He's uh, in Ohio at an honor camp uh, down near uh, London, Ohio. And it's, uh, an, he was at Chillicothe, and then he got transferred to this honor camp. It's a, were you kind in of the, a nice Were place. you in the same facility? Uh, I was in the, main, in the Chillicothe prison where he was at. The, this is a new uh, honor prison that's been built since then. I wanted to mention two things before I lose my little place. I just saw a great friend of mine in the audience who is uh, a great supporter of country music. His name is Mel Larson, and they have Circus Circus in Las yes. Vegas. And uh, I wanted to mention that Mel's here, and uh, it's a great place to go, believe me, if you've never been there. And another thing I wanted to mention was in a little place called uh, Damascus, Arkansas. There's a bunch of people watching this show tonight, and, and I was going through there a few weeks ago, and I blew the bus, the engine up in the motorhome that we were driving, and we were stranded there. And the mayor came out. So the town's 304 people, and all 300 of them are sitting in front of a TV. So hello, and you say hello for me, Ralph. To all right. People. They were nice to me. Hello, Damascus, Damascus Arkansas. Arkansas. Population 303. What is it? We should Key say. Hall. Salute. 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 That's it. <laughs> this portion of Nashville Now is brought to you by Ace Hardware. We want to remind you that Ace is the place with the helpful hardware man. Is this right? I don't think so. We're going to bring out here on our set and uh, to play the piano and sing for you here again is David Allen Coe. What gives you the right to take the kids and leave me? What did I do to you that was so wrong? And I don't know if I Without 
that my children in my life only know that you're gone I don't know why you left me but you left me Darling, you know I'm not that strong I don't know if you come back to me tomorrow And I Yes, you're gone And I don't know If I can make it But I guess I Have to take it Till I'm strong I just can't Ralph and our guest will return with more live from Music City. You're watching the Nashville Network.